I'm going to put the video up. Hello, back from Honduras. Look at me, y'all. I'm a hot mess. I'm tanning and everything. Nobody's viewing us right now, but we got so much to tell y'all. Wait till we upload the video from Dr. Sebi, honey. Oh, we're Can we you live now. You live? Oh my God, we just got to see the master. <laughs> Hold on. The, the camera around. We just got to see the herb master. Herb master. What he about so Nakia? Good. Oh my gosh, yes. It was great. He spoke to my husband. He was like, call him. He wanted to speak to the man that made this all possible. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting for some people to come on live so I can experience with Dr. Sabi. Um, it was an experience. The man dropped some jewels. I'm about to put it all on Facebook for you so y'all can we see it. We got to say, my teeth was just smiling. <laughs> Listen to them in the background. We all excited because um, we um, we just experienced some good energy, the master. some knowledge. The healer of all healers. Yes. You How think you you think you're a herbalist? That? You are not a herbalist. No, yes you are. You definitely are herbalist. Whoever's practicing, keep practicing. Um, the man is the man. We walked up into his room. I wanted to try to do a live, but as you walk away from certain rooms, every room got their own um, internet service. So we was outside on the hammock, and so we was catching internet near one of the rooms. But as we walk into his house, um, you lose internet, you lose service, you lose Wi-Fi, put it that way. So, um, but anyway, I did record him. I did get a lot of his knowledge and his wisdom. And I must tell y'all that um, the man is, the man is, he's, he's off the hook. We walked up in there, he was, had a big ass spliff in his hand. He was like, y'all want some? <laughs> For real, I'm going to walk outside. So let me let y'all see this front yard. Since it's all here, stand out here. This is the front yard right here. Over there, I don't want to move too far because I don't want to lose service for y'all. Oh, almost fell, y'all. Um, this is house right here. We was upstairs right there. If y'all see my finger, we was up on that balcony when we was having that conversation with him. I think this is the plant he was talking about, y'all. Hey, remember he was talking about that plant? Nene, remember he was talking about that plant? Yeah. It's outside in front of her yard. It's right here. It's this one. I think he was talking about this plant right here, y'all. I'm trying to get it on tape because... You know, this stuff right here that we're doing, it's, it's going to be recorded. So I want to make sure I get this plan. He was saying this is, um, this acts or, this acts like corn. Like when you grind it up and you make it into this paste, you can make bread out of it. You can make tortillas out of it. You can, you know, make rice. He was saying all kinds of stuff. So it's this plant right here. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to walk away and um, I lose reception. But I want y'all to see his house. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see if I can bring this in closer. That's his house. That glass, this glass, this right here, that's his house. Behind his house, he's building something two times bigger than that. He, I mean, huge. Like, and he's giving that house that he's in right now to his daughter. And then the house that's behind it is it's shaped the same, looks the same, but it's just bigger. And um, and so. He's giving, and that's gonna be his house, I guess, his, you know, house that he's gonna live the rest of his life out of. Over here, you see this right here, this orange yellow top? That's the sauna. Now, let me tell you something. It's two sides. With that door that you see pointing right there, and it's another one around the other side. That first side you see right here, is you can tolerate it for 15 minutes. It's, toler it's, it's okay. You go on the other side, you can't spend about five minutes in there. It's so goddamn hot. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming from there. Let me bring it up closer. But you can just see the smoke coming from there. I wish I could walk around to the um, thermal. You see that water right there? I'm going to walk over there. I guess we can still have some into it. So, let me break it up. This is all the thermal water. You see that pipe right there? That's all this water is coming from this waterfall up in these mountains. I don't know if you can see the mountains. Let me back up so you can see this beautiful mountain. It's beautiful. See the mountains? I know y'all can see all of that. But anyway, that water right there is coming from the mountain. And it's hot as hell. When I tell you this water is hot, you can't even put your hands in there. It's so hot and it's coming from the earth. 
I don't know if you can see that. And over there is that thermal pool. That's where the sulfur water is at. This over here. This. Let me see my finger. It's right here. I don't want to lose service. I can't even walk over that far. But I'm going to try to walk around the house. So y'all can kind of get a view. If y'all don't know about Usha Village, Dr. Sabi, please Google. If you sick, you got cancer, or you just got diabetes, high blood pressure, any type of sickness that you got, that they telling you you got, I advise y'all do not go to the doctor. Spend your money, come here and heal. You can stay here for a whole month. You can stay here for five months if you want to, but come here and heal. They will heal you when I tell you they will heal cleanse out strictly um a bunch of herbs you know tonics that sea moss you know you could probably he's up in his room still talking you can hear him from here but anyway you will come here and get healed so many people is here getting healed because a lot of them are you know very sickly and stuff like that we got people in wheelchairs and everybody saying how good they feel these people have been here for like over two months me and my sister Nini, we just came down here to detox, mentally and physically detox, you know, get all whatever junk we be eating, all that fried food and cheese that we still be eating and all that stuff, we getting it out of our system. And mentally, we just surrounded by beautiful nature. I mean, literally, it's just beautiful here. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's all mountains back there. Yeah. We didn't go on a hike yet. We're, gonna, we're about to go on a hike soon and uh, go up to the waterfall. When we do that, uh, we let you know. Look at this guy sitting there in the hammock. That's the security guy. He got a big gun, too. Big gun. But anyway, so they got people that... But, um, so, but anyway, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just talking right now because y'all all need to come down here. Instead of taking y'all vacation to Jamaica, St. Lucia, and all those Caribbean islands, y'all need to take your money and come down here and get healed, get detoxed, get cleansed out, because this is where it's at. This is not a vacation. I'm going to let you know right now. I thought I was coming down here, and I thought I was going to just chill, you know, do the herbal thing or whatever. I am drained. I feel like I'm sick because how much impurities is coming out of me. It's like it's making me weak because it's cleansing me. You know, my daily routine here, I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm trying to give y'all a whole view on how this system is working here. See the brother right there? He's walking with his kettle, right? He's going to walk over there. You see his kettle in his hand? I'm going to get a little closer. He's going to go get his soup of water. He's about to go get his soup of water from that place I showed you. I'm going to walk and show you. Say hi. I'm, I'm live on Facebook. I'm trying to show them that you got your kettle in your hand. You're about to go get your water. <laughs> your water for you to drink. Yep. <laughs> to get his water. And um, that's, that's what you got to do. You got to walk up here with your kettle. Get your water. That water is hot as hell. It's so hot. You can make tea out of it. But the thing is, is that that water tastes like eggs. It smells like eggs. And it tastes like eggs because it's so high in mineral. Like, it just... It's just the water. Ugh. We're not used to drinking it, but it's good for you. You got to drink it no matter what. You got to drink a half a gallon of that and a half a gallon of spring water. But what I do, I mix the two. I mix that water, that sulfur water, with the spring water so I can drink it because it literally smells and tastes like eggs. But when you um, let it sit out for a while and let it cool off and you drink it, it you know, that egg smell goes away. The taste, but the egg smell go away. But, um, yeah. But like I'm saying, like when y'all take y'all vacations, y'all need y'all need to put this on y'all bucket list and come because it's it's the best. So again, I, so our routine: we get up in the morning, five in the morning, get up. I put all this sea moss all over my face, on my arms, on my legs, and whatever. And I go outside and I let it dry, or I just let it dry in in, in the room in the hut that we stay in. And then once it dries. Um, we walk to the sauna where I just showed you. We walk to that sauna, and then from the sauna we go in there. We, you know, they tell you to spend no more than 15 minutes in the sauna. So I go on the hot, hot side, the unbearable side. So I go in there, and in the sauna you got like eucalyptus, lemongrass. You got all these herbs in there. So it's like 
all this herbs that's cleaning out your lungs and your skin is getting purified with the with the sea moss is drawing out all the impurities out of your skin as well and also you know making your skin look nice and pretty and shiny so do that then you go over and you you know shower that off you cool off your skin then you walk all the way down here it's like when you're walking down this hill down that way it's the um it's the thermal bath and girl when i tell you about this thermal bath if you stay more than 10 minutes you might drown because it literally puts you to sleep it's so warm it's just and that warm water is coming from the mountains again inside the earth Nothing is heated here, electricity. Everything is being run by that thermal water, by that heat that's coming from the from the mountain, from inside the earth. And then after that, you know, you go in, take a shower, get dressed, and you come out into the hall and you eat your breakfast. And your breakfast is just fruits. And you get the three nasty ass tonics. I'm sorry to tell y'all, but them tonics is nasty as hell. But you gotta take it because why? It's good for you and it's cleansing your system out. So anyway. So I'm just here. I'm just giving y'all a little update. I'm going to post a video of us interviewing Dr. Savy so you can hear what he's talking about. And, um, yeah. I don't see nobody else joining here, so I'll probably end this story in a minute. The ladies is here talking. I'm still live on Facebook. You are? How many people you got on? I don't see nobody joining. This is a dead one. I see my girlfriend, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. I miss you. I got to come. Michelle is on there. Michelle, I got to come out to North Babylon. We got to hang. I miss you, but how, how's your son? I see your daughters. You be posting them up. You like a, you like a Facebook um, you like a Facebook um, ghost because you don't really post much. All you do is uh, come on and like people pictures and put up pictures of your grandkids and, um, and um, what else you do? And put up little pictures here and there. But I see you join. I don't know if you're still there, but um, anyway. Live from Dr. Savi Usha Village from Honduras. I love you guys. And um, we will be live again, I guess, later on. What y'all saying? I got to put up the video. I know. That's a long video. That's hot. That is hot. Y'all got to they see the real video. They, we just give them snippets of it. You should just do it pieces by pieces. Tease them. Don't give them the whole thing yet. <laughs> That's not nice. She got me a nice. So, um, I got two viewers. I don't know who else is on it. Hey, Takima, I love you. I miss you. Mad stuff going on down here, girl. You got to come here. Y'all be taking those trips to Jamaica and those trips to whatever. But you need to bring your family here. This is a healing village. Girl, I thought I was coming down here just to detox and, and mentally. Girl, it is... You need to bring your family here. If something that you want to do for the health of your husband, you and those two children, you bring them here. You hear what I say? You you know if I'm telling you this, I'm telling you the truth. This is this is where you bring your family. Jamaican and all them places, those cruises that you be doing, that's all good. That's all fun and dandy. But as far as health and living well and getting and detoxing yourself, bring your family here. It's a must do. Put that on your bucket list. All right? I love you. Um, I know we haven't talked since, you know, everything that's going on with the family, but um, we'll talk. When I get back in town, we'll definitely talk. Who else is joining me on here? Say hi to Nene. She's over there. Hey, I'm still charged. I'm like, I'm looking through all my stuff about what he was telling me personally. <laughs> and this is Nikia. Hi. And we met her on our, on our journey. You know, yes. she's from Brooklyn, New York as well. Yes, I am. And she's here also today. So we just here chilling. Um, I don't know what else. What you wrote down here? Let me see. Mm -hmm. People don't know about this, but thanks for sharing. I know. That's why I'm doing it live. That's why I keep posting it. You know what I mean? When people see, oh, you're going down to Honduras. Be careful. Nah, you might get robbed or raped. Or I'm well protected. Do you know who I am? My ancestors got my back all day. Oh, I'm on the team. Oh, I'm on, Krishna oh, and Radha's on my Rada's team. Around. You hear what I say? <laughs> so I'm good. I'm well protected. Yeah, but still, people think of Honduras and they get scared. But Dr. Um, Sebi, this is where, if you don't know, Takim, if you're still online right now, whoever's online, this is where Lisa Left Eye came and she did her healing. And remember, she got into the car accident and she died. This is where she came to do her healing. If it wasn't for her, 
Dr. Sebi probably wouldn't be as well known as he is right now because everybody know of this village and of this man because of Dr. Sebi, because of um, Lisa Lefi. But a lot of celebrities know about him, but they never promoted him. He healed every he healed everybody. Michael Jackson, who were you talking about last night, the other day? Uh, that white man, he was saying he's... Uh, Seagal, 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 the, the, the white, the yeah, a lot of the celebrities he here, but they haven't put him out here, and Lisa Lefai, she was out here, and she, if you go on YouTube and you Google, you'll see her last days here before she passed away, so, um, yeah, and it's just, this is what it is here, it's really nice, what'd you say? You all skin looks so nice and clear. Yeah, girl, let me tell you something, Kima, you still there? Let me, uh, whoever's there with me, let me tell you something. I got this mud on top of my head. I don't know if you see this mud. I got this mud. They put it right here on your head. They put it on my head last night, right? And it's supposed to detox everything all in your head. Your crown chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye chakra. Clean out your eyes, nose. What? Girl, mucus started coming out of my eyes. Mu green, yellow mucus. The corner of my eyes, the side of my eyes. Mucus is coming out. And mucus is still coming out of my ass. I'm telling you, that mud, and the mud is coming from some river that they walk to and dig up all this dirt, and they get the leaves that's around there, and they grind it up, and then they put water in it, the sulfur, the sulfur water in it, and mix it up, and then they put it all in your head, and you got to tie your head down, and got to be in your head for seven days. Yes. You saw it, right? Okay, good. So... Girl, mucus. We got mad mucus in us, and we was taking this thing called CC4. It's the devil. <laughs> that I, no, it's good for you. It's cleaning out everything. When I'm telling you, you shit, you shit. You when you shit, you shit now. Mucus, mucus, clear mucus is coming out your ass. I'm sorry for everybody, to, you know, the cursing, but it's, I'm just keeping it real. Mucus, I never seen mucus come out my booty hole. Mucus, clear jelly shit just coming out after all this sh shit come out because you ain't really got nothing in your belly. But he did say we need 21 days. You, you don't really need, you don't, you don't, you're not really eating on here, but fruits for breakfast and your lunch is salad and stuff like that. But you getting mucus coming out your behind. That's how much of a detox you're going through. But it's good, but it's good. They advise you to stay here for 21 days. We only here for seven days, but they advise us to, for us to stay for 21 days so you can be completely detoxed out. So what we're going to do, they, and they send you home with a nice little package. So we're going to get our package and continue to detox while we're on our next journey. You know, because, you know, well, you know how we are. We're the two hunters. We just go everywhere we want to go. What you saying? I saw the video. Bring me back some. Are you hungry? Bitch, I'm starving. <laughs> I'm hungry. I can eat a freaking cold cabbage. I can. I, I, I'll be some peanuts or something. I need a smoothie. I'm telling you, if you come down here with your, make sure you bring a bullet, cause you can go out into the town and get your own fruits and stuff like that, and make your own smoothies and stuff. Cause girl, you. But you know, Dr. Say Savy says you you don't. Um, he's what is his slogan? Eat to live, not to die. Yeah. Eat to live, not to die. So you're only eating just to keep your body sustained. You're not eating so you can kill yourself. But girl, I'm hungry. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm doing a fast. I'm trying to do a three day fast. I'm gonna be just having um sea moss, drinking sea moss for three days straight in my 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 um alkaline water, my sulfur water and stuff like that. What you said? Damn, you will be. And my skin gonna look beautiful. Cause I put that damn sea moss all over me, honey. Tell me. You put that sea moss all over the place, right, me? This is a chicken. They didn't even eat shit. <laughs> they didn't eat shit, y'all. If tonics at the table, when you see the tonics on the table, Nene just start cussing. Like, I don't wanna drink this shit. I'm tired, is this too much? She get like a mad drunk, a mean drunk. <laughs> Fuck this. This <laughs> It's true. I feel like she said, I feel like she's punishment. Right. She feel like, she said she feel like she on punishment when she drink the tonic. But them tonics is, you drink, you, you think you going to the health store and you getting tonics to drink and you can't bear that? There's nothing on these tonics that they got here. That tonic. They ain't got nothing on the CC4. 
That time you need fruit tea. Like when you drink it, you can't sip it. Like, mm, let me take it. No, you gotta throw it back, and then you gotta take your fruits right away and eat it. Cause if not, you gonna you gonna just project that shit out. Cause it is so nasty. Maybe but you got. got him smoking weed. You got him smoking weed. <laughs> But then you got people that live here, and they just take that shit like it's juice, like nothing. They're just drinking it because they're accustomed to it. What you say? Bring you back some? I believe everybody needs a detox. I'm glad you are. I know. I'm glad too, because it's really good. You got to Google and get the stuff. Bring your family here. Whoever's online with me right now, if you're listening to me, it's a must do. It's a must. You got to come out and get that goddamn mucus out your body. We got so much mucus. And that's what he focused on, get your mucus out. So anyway, um, I did videotape Dr. Sabi. We was in his house. We was chilling. I'm going to put the video up. It's pretty long, but I want y'all to listen to it. It ain't that long. I, think, I guess a half an hour long the video could be or whatever. But whatever it is, it's food for your brain, okay? It's so worth it. it's worth you listening to it. So make sure your asses sit down and listen. Hey, Kevin, you joined? You crazy last night sending me all those throwback pictures. I can't believe you had those throwback pictures on there. That's good. Damn, we, how long we known each other, Kevin? 30 years? This is long, as long as you, as long, how much we long this girl? Wait, hold on. Say hi to me, Kevin. What's up, Kevin? Mm, I love you, Kevin. I miss you. I so miss you. We had so much fun together. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta come. Um, what you said, talking Ma? I need this right now. Tell Nini I love her. She said she love you. I love you, Kima. We love you, too. You know I was with you first. Tell the truth. You know I was with you first, Kima. You know you know me and you was first. We was we was going to be this the house, this my buddies. Home. first. I knew her first. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You didn't know her without you knowing me. No, I met Kima first. Okay, she said you Ask know me Kima. first. what she said. Kima, she said you know her first. I met you through my sister, and then you met Kima mm -hmm. through me. No. Yes, you did. Uh -huh. Yes, you did, because I... No, you didn't. Okay, what she said. It's nothing to say because I met my my cousin the next following year after I met you. What are you talking about? You didn't know Kima before no, I met you? Nope. Right, what Kima? What she said? <laughs> she ain't saying nothing yet. She probably left the conversation, but yeah. So you didn't know my cousin before me. I thought I knew you. No, you couldn't meet my cousin before me. Her. I'm saying I was used to No, we were hanging her. first because y'all met you through Tracy. But anyway, we shouldn't be having this conversation live on Facebook. <laughs> She wanna be acting like she knew you first, but she did. I did. You knew my sister first. That's I that's one thing you could claim. You was with my sister first, cause y'all used to do each other here. But anyway, enough of that. Queensbridge. That's QB. Where QB in the house? Q uh, Queensbridge is in the house. Kevin's there. Queensbridge is in the house. That's them. I'm a Brooklyn girl all day. But anyway, enough of that antics. We supposed to be off that. Kima says, "I'm going to kick your ass." No. I met her through you. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. She, that's what I'm trying to tell her. She, how are you going to meet my cousin? I didn't even know you. <laughs> Me and Kima was about to fight. Me and Kima was about to throw hands when we met. What are you talking about? Let's bring them to the thing. I'm bring them. Where you going? Go get some of that spanina. What we got today? Uh, well, oh, we're going to go eat our lunch. She said that she was doing about to eat our lunch. the chickpeas. Oh, chickpeas today? today? Is she gonna teach us how to cook that? Um, do the she scene said on. She was doing, Oh, that's right. She, well, she said that's she the bathroom. Did. That's the you bathroom. Let me walk in here. Oh, you gotta go. Let me let them see the bathroom okay, before you go. Please. Um, this is the bathroom. This is the tub. It's like a goddamn jacuzzi. You gotta step all the way down. You see this? You gotta step way down here. And this is the other side of the bathroom. It's separate, right? See? It's separate. You gotta walk in and then turn around. And that's the toilet.